Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Teresa, and I am back with another fashion video. It is the first week of school of the spring semester in 2022. And this week I filmed all of the outfits that I put together from Thursday of last week to Thursday of this week. And I'll be uploading this video on Friday. So you're gonna get to see five outfits that I put together. We had insane weather this week. It went literally from being 80 and then two days later being 30. So you get a little bit of variety. If you're looking for some inspirations so that you can look cute going to school every day, going into this new semester. First day of the spring semester, after I just got rid of a bunch of my clothes, as you saw in my video of my closet clean out, the only thing that I didn't already have is this top. I got it on clearance at Forever 21. So this denim shirt is from I believe Walmart, but it's Levi's brand. And then, like I said, this was on clearance at Forever 21. These leggings are from Target, but I have the waistband folded down because they're like super, super high-waisted. So maybe if you're into that look, you would really like these, but it's kind of weird for me. So I had them rolled down. And then I also just got these boots from Target and they're super cute. Look at this fuzz. Oh my gosh, I wish that you could see this better. I'm pulling a little Blair Waldorf with a headband moment. Don't mind my roots. My hairdresser got COVID. I'm getting them done on Wednesday. I have a full face of makeup on because, you know, when you look good, you feel good. And it's the first day of the semester. So we want the semester to go well. So I've got a face of makeup on. I'm going to put my lashes on in the car and I'm all ready for school. It's Thursday. So it's kind of random that they started the week on a Thursday but I'm gonna show you my fits throughout the week to see some of the new clothes that I bought and some of the old clothes that I'm keeping and we're gonna do some more fashion content because I think that you like that because my closet clean out video got above average views. I'm already running late to school this morning and look what I did. Ooh. Here is the fit today. Something Miss Frizzle would be proud of. This shirt was from Ross. These pants are Lululemon. I love the color, but they always draw so much attention. So I usually don't wear them out that much, but I thought that they matched my color palette a little bit better and they matched this shirt. And I also put on my yellow Vans with some yellow and gray fuzzy socks. I know that this fit is a little casual, uh, but that is because I don't have that many clothes right now and I'm still going to school. I'm still trying to get over that like self-confidence thing. You know, there was this girl I went to high school with named Cheyenne who would wear like six inch platforms to school and like skirts and dresses. And I'm trying to get on her level, but I'm not quite there yet. So give me a minute and we'll be there, but I'm already running late for school. So I just had to throw something together real quick. So it is Tuesday. I didn't have class yesterday, but it's supposed to get up to like 80 degrees today. So I'm just wearing this tank top. I've had this probably like a year. And then these are pants from American Eagle and I'm wearing my Air Forces with the pink swoosh on them. And I love these, but I never wear them because I never want to get them dirty and I never want to crease them. And I'm not like a sneaker head, so I don't know how to actually take care of them. But yesterday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so I didn't have an outfit for Monday. This is the fit. It's not supposed to be 80 until later in the afternoon, like 1 p.m. So I put on this little cropped hoodie and then obviously my backpack. And I also put in these little pearl earrings to bring together the white from my scrunchie and the white in my shirt and the white in my shoes. So I'm gonna be late for school already. Let's get the show on the road. <laughs> A few thoughts about today's fit. So I woke up super late and didn't have time to put t something together really. As you can see, this is my makeup from yesterday. My hair hasn't been done, but I'm getting it done today. So I didn't think that it was that big of a deal. But I put on these pantyhose underneath my skirt because working at Hooters, I like just don't like the way that my legs look 
when they're not tan and they don't have anything on them and I haven't shaved so I was just like let me put on some pantyhose and these are the only ones that I really had other than the ones that I use for OnlyFans so it was like crotchless or these have holes in the crotch anyway so are kind of crotchless so that's actually I thought about taking them off when I got to school because I look at how different they are from my skin tone but these are literally from when I worked at Hooters and I used to fake tan a lot so I couldn't take my pantyhose off because I don't have any underwear on. I was wearing these shoes, but I didn't like them with my pantyhose. So the only options I had were these flats, which I would have had to take off my pantyhose for, or the Vans that I put on, uh, they're yellow. I'm about to run to Walmart because I just want to get a different pair of pantyhose. I feel like I look ridiculous being like a normal shade of skin for me and then having like carrot legs you see this especially in the middle of winter but i didn't want to just go out with bare legs because i haven't shaved and i'm super like just my legs are pale you just can't see like the toned definition that makes them look nice and long and sexy the way i like them too but i kind of had to wear a skirt today because i wore that pair of jeans yesterday i was wearing all of my leggings last week and then my other pair of like skinny jeans are in the wash right now not walmart having some low-key super cute bags like look at these i love this powder blue Let's see what I got from our Walmart shopping haul. I got these pantyhose, which I'm gonna put on here in a second. And then I also ordered a pair of brown tights and a brown headband from Amazon and they never came, so I got these. But the annoying thing is that they came in a pack with black. And I'm not trying to wear black, but I could not find any that didn't come with them. So whatever, I guess. And then I got these sunglasses. This is hard to do in a car when you're so long. This comes with two pairs. I only need one though. Mm. Now, see how much better that looks? I think I am gonna switch back into these little booties i was wearing like i said the other day i want to get to the point where i feel confident wearing basically anything to school the outfit that i was talking about that i got those brown tights for it's like these heels that i got my friend lexi got them for me for my birthday and i found this skirt that matches them perfectly so i came up with this outfit idea but the heels are kind of high and i don't really know if i want to wear it to school but it's a cute outfit but that's almost what i wore today i like wearing skirts because i'm so tall it's hard for me to find pants they're long enough for me so I just choose to wear skirts more often and I feel like sometimes that's weird to people especially at school where I'm not trying to stand out okay so here is today's fit with the shoes yes okay how do we like it I can't believe that today is the one day of the week that it rained and I did not wear a coat I don't know how that happened I'm so excited because on my way into my last class of the day, somebody stopped me to tell me that they liked my outfit and I didn't have a chance to capture it because as per usual, I was running late. But I do see why people don't wear heels to school because my feet are killing me and just to walk from my car back into my house, I put my sneakers back on because like I think I'm gonna have blisters after this. Here's what it looks like now that I got my hair done and I have a little jacket I put on my little wrench coat and I think it looks really nice all right here's what it looks like how do we like it comment down below maybe I should cover that up I know that today is not a manifestation video but I kind of wanted to add a little addendum to that video because all week I've been saying you know I'm always late I'm always late I'm always late and I manifested it you know today I woke up at the time my class was supposed to start so i basically missed it i was up late because my dog got sick last night and i was cleaning up after her but here's the outfit that i put together for my other class today because obviously 
I didn't make it to the first one. And I wanted to talk about how you can take the same kind of idea for an outfit and turn it into a different outfit. So remember my outfit from last Thursday, I was wearing like a little pink tank top with that blue over shirt and then I was wearing some maroon leggings. Well, I kind of did the same thing today and even like the headband was similar. I don't think I wore this exact one, I might have, but I wore this headband. I've been wearing headbands all week. I'm really excited that the whole like gossip girl kind of look is coming back in style. The plaid skirts, the sweaters, the headbands. I love it. I went to Catholic school. That is what I was raised with. And then I just wore the exact same boots that I told you are from Target. These leggings are from Lululemon. This shirt is from, this shirt is from Forever 21 and it's a little see-through. So this is the shirt that I thrifted in that last video. It's that green shirt I said I would love to just throw over something and then I'm gonna put on my trench coat over it because it is supposed to rain today. You really don't have to be super creative to look good because you can figure out a little outfit like this that makes you feel good and you can use different colors and patterns to make it look cool. So, you know, last Thursday I was wearing a velvet top and this time I have one with like a little inlet hole that ties in the front. Like even though it's the same base outfit, they're different colors, it's using different styles. So they look just a little bit different, but you don't have to put too much thought into it when you're getting ready for school. I ended up putting on my Carhartt once I got to school because I guess my weather app was doing something funky because while I was at home, it was showing me the weather forecast for yesterday. So it was showing me that it was 63 and raining and then I got outside and it was actually like 30 degrees and windy. So I already had my Carhartt in the car and it like kind of matches this outfit a little bit. So everything worked out fine. It's so insane how the weather has been this week in Texas, but I think that it also is nice so that you can kind of see some variations of my outfits. Like I said, there are some outfits that look really similar. There are some outfits that look a little bit different. It just depends on what mood you're in. And I think that that is what is so much fun about this personal growth development journey that I have been on myself. I know people don't really see fashion as that, but I do see it as like a way to express yourself. And I have been getting more and more into it as I feel more authentically myself, outgrowing some of the constraints that I had as a child, you know, all about that. And if you don't, make sure that you comment down below and let me know if you would like me to talk about overcoming some of your childhood conditioning. I think that would go along really nicely with this New Year's Reset series. And also let me know if you like some of these fashion vlogs. I am having a ton of fun making them. I've been taking a step away from my OnlyFans content when I created my YouTube channel. It wasn't really supposed to be OnlyFans tutorials. It was actually kind of supposed to be the opposite. It was supposed to be like my way to get away from my life as a sex worker. And I think this year I'm really trying to pivot my content. I'm still really happy that I have some good informational content about OnlyFans, but I also kind of feel like I'm coming to the end of my rope. So I'm really excited to explore some new ideas going into the new year in order to help build my YouTube channel. So if there's anything more that you would love to hear from me, I would appreciate your feedback. And if you're excited for all this new content that I have coming out, make sure that you hit that red subscribe button down below, plus the gray notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload new content. Give this video a big, big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.